What's up guys, so we got a question from Beef Patty XL. I, I put up a message on the community page on the uh, YouTube page, so if you guys don't have that, like, you know, check it out, check it out from time to time, asking for technique questions. His is, he is a, or he's a guy with short, stocky legs, and he's having issues getting to a higher guard, you know, from the close guard posi position. So he plays close guard, and he wants some form of high guard to attack with, but he has short, stocky legs. So, Beef Patty XL, I, uh, I, I appreciate that, because again, I have a, I'm not short, I'm about six foot, but I I have a long torso and I have fairly short legs for my weight and so I never really was good at just opening my close guard immediately attacking I always had to have a way to climb up but again that traditional high guard I don't favor it so I'm going to show you another variation I typically call it the diamond guard some people call it pyramid guard but call it whatever you want to um, we'll get into it so all right so beef patty here's what we're going to do you're going to start off like a regular arm bar so we're going to go under over grab the arm pull the arm about the center line of your body okay now this person's going to be thinking arm bar right that's pretty normal what we're going to do instead of going for the straight arm bar he might be defending that's fine we're going to open our legs and i'm going to throw this leg up over top okay and i like doing this like when i'm attacking arm bars and applaud is because again as i said i don't have the i mean i can sometimes but against good dudes i don't have that dexterity to boom to swing my legs all the way around effortlessly like chad does and he can snatch someone up very easily i don't so a lot of times this kind of gives me a little safe point so what I'm doing is the arm that I'm pulling towards me, I'm trapping that shoulder by throwing this leg over. Now, the leg in the back will be the latch leg, so it latches over top. This is very important. If I pinch like this now, if Chad lifts his shoulders up, I stay with him, right? If I switch him to where it's like this, there's no downward pressure and he can press his shoulder through. And it's very important, as you'll see in just a second, that we keep the shoulder trapped. Okay, so again, start off like an arm bar, you can even get the grip here, open your legs, and it, literally, you don't have to make too much of an angle, just throw your leg up. Now, I'm pinching my, my heels down and pinching in just a little bit, making it very uncomfortable. Now, the first move we'll show you is gonna be a basic arm bar. We'll slide down, push away from the face, bang, extend, pretty normal stuff, right? And then from here, let's say that we wanna go for a different move, okay? The triangle's there, but again, you said you have short, stocky legs, so I like a different move for short, stockier people. So I'm gonna begin to attack the armbar, and this is a legit threat. If he does not respect it at all, I can't extend the armbar. But what I'm gonna do is, as I'm attacking this, I'm gonna leave a little bit of space, I'm gonna ease up, so that he can pull his arm out, now right here. As soon as you feel the person taking the bait, we're gonna switch to the wrist, and I'm gonna grab the leg here, and from here, switch my weight to a Uma Plata. Again, I like grabbing the toes, almost like a Statue of Liberty, because if he tries to hop over me, it's very difficult to do this, and it'll help me sit up and grab the body, right? Opposed to a lot of times if I grab under the thigh, he can roll through pretty easily. I can still get the sweep, but it does create some, some problems for me, so I kinda like to get the guy flat if possible. So let's look at this again. So again, under, over, get your basic arm bar position. We're gonna open the legs here immediately, latch over top. Again, leg, this one goes over top behind the, the, uh, the armpit. We pinch in and clamp down. From here, slide down to the wrist, push away from the face. If I wanna attack that basic arm bar, make sure the thumb's up. And then if I don't, I'll attack, throw the thread up there. As he pulls out, I grab the wrist, turn my body, and again, I'll try to get this toe because it's a really good position because back there that foot, I can extend them out and then I can sit up a little bit easier than normal, right? Now from here, just trap and do your basic finish to the Uma Plata. So that diamond guard position, whether you want to use those techniques that I showed you um, in the video, whether you want to use those or not, the diamond guard position is a great sort of checkpoint for you, if you will, for people with short stocky legs because you can get up there and it's actually a better thing that you have short stocky legs because there's less room to play with and you can keep a tighter vice uh, around their, their head and shoulders. And again, I call it a diamond guard because when your legs are in this position, it's kind of like a, a diamond there. But give that a try, beefy, and uh, let me know how it works for you. Guys, I'll talk to you next time. We're not going to call you BP for Beef Patty. BP. So BP, here's what we're going to do. We're going to start off like we're doing a basic arm bar, okay? So I'm going to go under, over, grab the arm, and I just want to get, again, that arm right in about the center line of my body. If it's too far over, it's bad. If it's too far back, what's up? <laughs> what's, what's wrong? Uh, hold on. What's wrong? Uh, I was thinking about Beef Patties. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking about Beef Patties. <laughs> uh. I was saying, I was like, beef patty. <laughs> <laughs> you ready? All right, beefy. So, beefy, here's what we're going to do. <laughs> uh.